So Casa Ruby is to actually bring a better life or equal playing field for all members of the LGBTQ community. Um, this agency was founded by a trans woman who was homeless, who lived under the bridge for a certain amount of time. Um, and her idea behind this program is to give us all economic and financial literacy, security, and stability. Just, we don't want to be treated differently. We just want an even playing field, and we haven't been given that shot. So that's the mission behind this agency. We have a legal and immigration department, um, which they handle all of our legal issues. Anything that a client may have to worry about as far as immigration, we help get citizenship. We do anything with legal as far as name changes, um, stuff like that. Then we do referrals to people with doctors. So we have a mental health um, provider here, and she has a group of interns that are working with her, and they do um, one-on-one -on -one sessions with the clients, mental uh, therapy sessions. They also do group sessions as well throughout the evening. Um, we also have a HIV and AIDS um, director here who is focused on PrEP and PEP, as well as um, keeping the clients in adherence with their medication. So we do testing and counseling as well there at the pharmacy. Our pharmacy is going to be expanding to include more than PrEP and PEP. It will be including hormonal therapy replacement as well as HIV and AIDS medication. And pretty soon it will be able to take on their um, mental health medication as well. Um, we also have a drop-in center, which is a community center where we do com computer classes. We're trying to work towards getting a workforce program. We currently do not have one. We do um, community events as far as balls, just to give like self-lifting and uplifting um, things, to give out trophies to make people feel good about themselves internally. Um, we have a low barrier shelter, which means pretty much anybody can come and we'll let them in. We feed the people, we clothe the people, we house them. Um, we have a emergency, emergency transitional house, which is located on Gallatin Street. It's just for emergency people to go there for in a case of emergency. We have a regular transitional house, which is a, a three to six month program where the clients will stay there and then move to another stage. Then we have houses in um, Southeast, which is called our Southeast Campus. And there we are uh, opening up adult housing there. Um, we have crime victim services, so if you've been dealing with uh, domestic violence or some abuse of that nature, that um, person there will hook you up with crime victim services throughout the, and we have a drop-in center there as well. And then last but not least is our non-medical case management program, which is where we connect people with all types of things. Um, so she's basically a referral hub for any things that our clients may need. What I see as a value um, is the actual enactment of change. Um, actually seeing, like, being able to watch CNN and seeing what's going on now, as far as how our new administration is so open to being liberal towards the transgender community, and I really want to specify that because a lot of times gay and lesbian people are accepted more so than trans people are. And to see that our council, our congress, our a new administration as far as the federal administration are fighting for our rights, it shows that we have been fighting and standing up a lot enough so that people are hearing us. Um, I look at it as civil rights and I just feel like if we continually do this, we won't have to keep on sitting on the back of the bus. Eventually we'll be able to sit where we like. Transphobia is perpetrated um, several different ways. So it's blatant transphobia where they're verbally, uh, emotionally um, abusive and derogatory towards trans people. Um, sometimes it's also a mental thing. So people may like to associate with you, but it has to be behind closed doors or without it being found out. Um, if those things are found out that you're just friendly with a person, it can be extremely dangerous. Um, it's a lot of times that I fear for my life if a person were to find out that I was trans. And it's not because that I'm going out actively, sexually seeking men. And that would, that's, that's a lot of times what they put out there is that we're trying to trick people. But that's not true. I'm married. I've been with my husband for 10 years. My husband knows everything about me. 
And I think that the way society has it wrapped up is that it's a big fool type of thing and we're tricking something. So when this happens, especially in the African-American community, violence is like the number one thing that they go to. And um, this is because they have egos and they don't want to let their masculinity be challenged. So um, their egos and stuff like that. So that's why a lot of girls do end up getting hurt. A lot of people know trans people are trans people. Um, also, a lot of cisgender women have lately been feeling in competition with trans women and they have been dragging trans people through the mud, talking about them really bad, um, teasing African-American men, teasing men in general who come out to say that they like trans women. So it's like you can't have it both ways. At one time when the men are sleeping with the girls behind closed doors, they say, you should just come out and tell everybody. Then when people come out and tell that they're actually attracted to trans people, they're demonized. So it's a devilish sword. I would like for society to get to a point that it doesn't matter of a person's sexual orientation, um, where people don't feel as though it's okay to ask, um, are you a girl or a boy in a public space or a public venue if you just met someone. I don't believe that that's important. I believe I would like to see society get to a point that we start judging people actually off of the content of their character. <laughs> I hate to say it this way but to judge people for who they truly are, not what's between their legs or what we perceive is between their legs. Um, I would also like society to understand that everyone has a type. And just because someone is attract attracted to the same sex, the opposite sex or all sexes, it doesn't mean that you're specifically their type. I need people to get out of their head that just because someone's attracted to the same sex, they're gonna want them. Um, how I would like to see us get there is I would like to see laws and stuff enacted. I would like to see the government, the federal government, actually showing that they have a true concern. When I say laws being enacted, like California just did a bill for a maybe $20 million um, general fund. Anything that trans people may need, they can have access to. These funds are tied up so that they can help them. And a lot of people don't understand and they say, you just want this, you want this. Sometimes enough abuse, we deserve something. A lot of us have been put out of our homes at 14 and 15 years old. We didn't have a free opportunity to get an education. They say, well, you could have went to school. A lot of us were sleeping in the street, in the gutter. We had to find somewhere to get food. And it was okay for our parents to turn their backs on us because we were not normal. So. I think that those are some things that people really need to look into, and I think the more people know, the less ignorant they'll act. So currently, Casa Ruby is a member of an LGBT um, coalition, and throughout this coalition, we lobby together towards the council to get money. This year's goal is to get a, a campus or a large school building and we will be trying to bring all of the LGBT organizations into one ground facility so that people will be able to access the services better. And, um, it's gonna happen, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I guarantee you before I leave this earth, there's going to be a statue of Alexis Blackman standing in the middle. <laughs> And it's going to be something like the Marvel X-Men campus, where you can provide all type of learning experiences, job training, college courses, and everything, so that we can actually get an economic playing field that's fair with everyone else. So Casa Ruby is currently located at 2031 Florida Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C. Our telephone number is 202. 355-5155 and you can press zero that'll take you dire directly to the receptionist um, or you could just go to costaruby.org we have a Costa Ruby um, page on Facebook on Instagram and Twitter so we'll be re reaching out or responding from one of those ways